KVR Maths Academy, Maths an Easy Way. Hi yours, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 3 to 7 problems in exercise 5.1 in introduction to Euclid's geometry in AP 9th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these problems, yours, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. Next third question. Consider two portraits given below. First one. Given any two distinct points A and B, there exists a third point C which is in between A and B. Second one. There exists at least three points that are not on the same line. First one. First one. Given any two distinct points A and B, A and B are two points. There exists a third point C which is in between A and B. Third point C and A is the same as right? Next, there exists at least three points that are not on the same line. So, A B points are A B points are C and A point in between and in between and not. And the same line may do the lag with a bite on the any clear level. That is why there exist at least three points that are not on the same line. Not on the same line and take a point, take a point, take a point. Suppose A, B, C, A with a ground, not on the same line. Same line, I think, even the ground and the not on the same line, I think, even the ground together. Yes, then someone in chi. आंसर ये बताएंगे राय यालो राशि चुपस्ता ना छोड़न, राइट? चोंडे आंसर अच्छी, यस। दिस पॉस्टलेट्स कंटेन अनडिफाइन टर्म्स, जस्ट सच एस पॉइंट एंड लाइन, अंटे अनडिफाइन टर्म्स ये में उन्हें हम पॉइंट लाइन ही बनना है। सो आल्सो दिस पॉस्टलेट्स आर कंसिस्टेंट, कंपलसर कंसिस्टेंट है there is a point C lying on the same line between them. Lying on the line between them. Already draw this two pinches together. Ready to match? Jilla bundi. Second says that given points A and B, you can take point C not lying on the line through A and B. Adi ite line me da tis ko kunda. Adi ite line me da lay kunda. Where a pakna ekda bundar matra. Yes, right. So these postulates do not follow the Euclid's postulates. Euclid's postulates are followed, but the exam is followed. The end of the exam, given two distinct points, there is unique line passes through them. And then, two distinct points, only one line is passed through them. This is the following. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Fourth question. If a point C lies between two points A and B such that AC is equal to BC, then prove that AC is equal to half AB. Explain by drawing the figure. If a point C lies between two points A and B, okay? A line segment on the line segment A and B is there. C is in between. C is in between A and B such that AC is equal to BC. Okay? C is the midpoint of a B C is the midpoint of A B. Then what we have to prove A C is equal to half A B. See actually C midpoint I know compulsory A C and A B A B are half out together. A C is equal to B C is equal to half A B. So let us prove. Right. Solution. Given that C is the midpoint of of a b such that a c is equal to b c a c is equal to b c so on both sides a c is equal to b c gada so let us add a c on both sides why because mano anti a c is equal to half a b and prove jr gavati both sides a c add chadda add a c on both sides so, AC plus AC is equal to AC plus BC, isn't it? That implies AC plus AC is equal to AC plus BC. Both sides, man, AC and AD are chasing, right? AC plus AC, yes, exactly. 
టూ ఏసీ అవుతుంది కదా ఏసీ ప్లస్ ఏసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ ఏసీ నవ్ ఏసీ ప్లస్ బీసీ సి ఏసీ ప్లస్ బీసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఏబి ఆర్ నాట్ ఏసీ ప్లస్ బీసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఏబి నవ్ ఇన్ ద ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ ఏసీ ప్లస్ బీసీ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ ఏబి రైట్ నవ్ టూ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ సైడ్ దట్ ఎంప్లాయిస్ ఏసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ హియర్ మల్టిప్లైంగ్ నో దిస్ విల్ బి హాఫ్ ఏబి హాఫ్ ఏబి దట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రూవ్ నా ఏసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు హాఫ్ ఏబి సో హ్యాన్స్ హ్యాన్స్ ప్రూవ్డ్ హ్యావ్ యూ అండర్స్టూడ్ క్లియర్లీ ఎస్ నోటి డౌన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫిఫ్త్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ సి ఈస్ కాల్డ్ మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ లైన్ సెగ్మెంట్ ఏబి ప్రూవ్ దట్ ఎవ్రీ లైన్ సెగ్మెంట్ హ్యాస్ వన్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఇన్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ పాయింట్ సి ఈస్ కాల్డ్ మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ లైన్ సెగ్మెంట్ ఏబి సో మనం ఇక్కడ ఫోర్లో చేసాం కదా ఏబి లైన్ సెగ్మెంట్ అయితే సి అనేది ఏబికి మిడ్ పాయింట్ అని ప్రూవ్ చేసాం కదా ఎస్ అంటే ఏసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు హాఫ్ ఏబి అని ప్రూవ్ చేసాం సి ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ఏబి దెన్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రూవ్ ఎవ్రీ లైన్ సెగ్మెంట్ హ్యాస్ వన్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ మిడ్ పాయింట్ అంటే ప్రతి లైన్ సెగ్మెంట్కి ఒకే ఒక మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఉంటుందని ప్రూవ్ చేయమంటున్నాడు ఎస్ ఎస్ లెటెస్ టైక్ సొల్యూషన్ లుక్ యా లెటెస్ లెటెస్ ఎస్యూమ్ ఎస్యూమ్ దాట్ C and D, C and D are the midpoints, midpoints of line segment AB. C and D are the midpoints of line segment AB. Here AB is the line segment. AB line segment is the midpoint, D is the midpoint. AB line segment is the midpoint, C is the midpoint, D is the midpoint. That is, there are two midpoints actually. తీసుకున్న తర్వాత మన తెలుసు మనకి ఈ సి అనేది మిడ్ పాయింట్ అయితే కనుక ఏసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు బీసీ అవుతుంది రైట్ ఎస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫిగర్ సి ఈజ్ అ మిడ్ పాయింట్ మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ఏబి సో దట్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ఏసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు హాఫ్ ఏబి ఏసీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు హాఫ్ ఏబి అవుతుంది కదా ఆల్రెడీ ప్రూవ్ చేసాం రైట్ హాఫ్ ఏపి దిస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వేషన్ నెంబర్ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో డీఈ మిడ్ పాయింట్ డీఈ ద మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ఏబి సో డి ఆల్సో మిడ్ పాయింట్ అనుకున్నాం కదా సో డిఈ ఆల్సో మిడ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ఏబి దెన్ ఏడి ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు హాఫ్ ఏబి so that implies ad is equal to half ab this is equation number 2 ikkada manaki ac is equal to half ab vachindi adhe vidhanga ad is equal to half ab vachindi so from 1 and 2 what can you say ac is equal to ad yes from 1 and 2 we can clearly say that clearly say that AC is equal to C. AC is equal to AD. AC is equal to AD. That implies AC is equal to AD. It is C is equal to D. Isn't it? C is equal to D. So, so, point C, point C coincides, coincides with point D. Point C is coincides with point D. Coincide is not the same. Only there is, there will be only one midpoint, right? Therefore, there will be one and only one midpoint, midpoint for every line segment have you understood clearly yes no need down sixth one in the given figure if ac is equal to bd then prove that ab is equal to cd in the given figure 
AC is equal to BDN. What we have to prove? AB is equal to CDN. Right? AC is equal to BDN. So, AB is equal to CDN. Man, prove it. Yes, solution. Given that AD is a line segment, line segment. B and C are the B and C are the points on AD. Next, AC is equal to BD. And it said AC is equal to BD. Pretty much on both sides subtract BC from both sides. Subtract. BC on both sides. That is, chundi? AC minus BC is equal to BD minus BC. Right. AC minus BC is equal to BD minus BC. AC minus BC. Chundi? BC and these uh, subtractions on the AC ki BD ki common ka BC on the kabati. Ona? So, AC launch mana chondi AC minus BC subtract chase on kondi BC subtract chase as the untundi AB matrim untundi gada AC launch BC subtract chase on in ke untundi AB is equal to BD minus BC kada BD on the BD launch BC subtract chase as on in ke untundama CD on a gada yes CD so AB is equal to CD. That is the proof of AB is equal to CD. Hence, hence proved. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Next, seventh question. This is the final question in this chapter. Why is exam 5 in the list of Euclid's exams considered a universal truth? Why is axiom 5? Axiom 5 in the list of Euclid axioms considered as a universal truth. And axiom 5 is universal truth. And this is the question. Let us explain. Solution. So, actually, what is axiom 5? Euclid's axiom 5? Yes. What is that? Yes. The whole is always greater than the part. Yes. What is axiom 5? The whole is greater than greater than the part. Yes, this is universal truth. Why is why it will be called as universal truth? And that, my whole and the Purukana, Purukoda, part can take compulsory equivalent. Yes, let us take an example. I'll do with an example. So, example, let us take. Suppose I have drawn a line segment AB. Have drawn a line segment AB. Suppose X and Y are the points of points on AB. AB is a line segment. X and Y are the points on AB. Right. AB is the whole part of line segment, right? And AX, XY, YB are the parts of the line segment. Isn't it? Yes. Here. Here, AB line segment AB is a whole, which means total, isn't it? Yes, AX, AX, XY, and YB are the parts of line segment, line segment AB, isn't it? So, you can see even the parts. Parts and AB, you can see the whole content. So, AB, therefore, AB is greater than AX. Isn't it? AB is greater than AX. Next, also, AB is greater than XY. And uh, AB is greater than YB. So, these are all parts. The parts, this is whole. So, Whole is always greater than part. Yes? So, C 
from above example above example holy is holy is always always greater than part have you understood clearly ante nenu ee example teeskunnano meer inke vere example edanna teeskochu right yes note it down ओके व्यूअर्स वीडियो कच्चे लाइक् शेर चयी इट मरी वीडियो कोसम ान सब्सक्रैब् चुस्क मर्चिप्द थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच